Hello everyone. Thanks again for watching this channel. In today's video, I'll show you an extremely effective method for air layering. One that greatly improves your chances of success. Even if air layering hasn't worked for you in the past, this technique will make a huge difference. Why use a pliers wrench? To begin with, I highly recommend using a pliers wrench when doing air layering. It allows you to easily perform girdling and apply an important treatment that encourages strong root formation. What is girdling? Girdling is a horticultural technique where you remove a ring of bark all the way around a branch or trunk. This temporarily blocks the downward flow of nutrients produced by the leaves, forcing the plant to redirect those nutrients to fruit or a specific branch, improving fruit quality, promoting ripening or controlling growth. It also enables root formation for propagation. However, one issue is that the girdled wound may heal over time due to the formation of callus tissue which can reduce or cancel the desired effect. In propagation, if healing happens before roots emerge, the chances of successful rooting drop dramatically. Prevent healing with pliers. To slow down this healing process, use a pliers wrench to make shallow 360 degrees wounds around the girdled area. This delays callus formation giving roots more time to emerge. Be careful though, if the branch is too thin or too soft, it may snap. Also, avoid completely horizontal branches as they can break under the weight of growing shoots and leaves. Instead, choose slightly upward facing branches. By using pliers to apply small injuries around the girdled area, you prevent it from healing too quickly and allow enough time for roots to form and the new plant to become independent. This single step, using the pliers, can dramatically improve your success rate. How wide should the girdle be? As a rule of thumb, the width of the girdled section should be about 1.5 times the diameter of the branch. So if the branch is 3 cm thick, make the girdled strip about 4.5 cm wide for best results. In this video, we're working with a rare tropical fruit tree known as Sterculia monosperma, commonly called Chinese chestnut. Moist moss plus darkness equals healthy roots. Once the girdling is complete, wrap the area with moist sphagnum moss. It doesn't need to be soaking wet, just slightly damp. Wring out the excess water before wrapping it around the wound. Roots actually tend to grow better in slightly drier conditions. Then cover everything with black plastic film. Thank <laughs> you. 
Roots grow best in dark, light-blocking environments. When exposed to light, roots can get sunburned and die. That's why it's important to protect the root zone from light. Just like how roots growing out of pot drainage holes can get burned by sunlight or ground heat. Two months later. Now, let's check on the plant two months after air layering. I layered three branches and all three successfully rooted. However, I waited a little too long before removing them from the mother tree so the root tips turned slightly black and some roots around the outer layer died due to the summer heat. To avoid this, try to plant the rooted branch in soil a bit earlier. Why not propagate instead of prune? Instead of simply pruning your tree and throwing away branches, consider using air layering to multiply your plants. It makes gardening more rewarding and fun. Potting the rooted branch Once removed from the mother tree, the rooted branch should be planted into a pot. Use a well-draining soil mix, ideally a 1-1 blend of Kanuma soil, light volcanic pumice, and Akadama soil, clay granules. This mix offers excellent drainage, moisture retention, and nutrient holding capacity perfect for fruit trees and bonsai alike. Pruning after potting. After potting, prune some of the leaves to reduce water loss. Newly rooted cuttings have a limited root system so the amount of foliage and roots must stay in balance. Check the roots and prune the top accordingly right after separating the branch from the mother tree.
Bonus tip: Try cuttings too. By the way, you can also propagate this tree using cuttings. Just insert a branch into soil, and with proper care, it may root and grow into a new plant. I grow and research fruit trees here in Japan, and I share my methods for grafting, air layering, propagation, pruning, and overall tree care. If there's something you'd like me to cover in a future video, let me know in the comments. I read them all and really appreciate your feedback. And if you're interested in fruit tree propagation and cultivation, Please consider subscribing to the channel. It would mean a lot. Thanks again for watching until the end. See you next time.